Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today I'm going to walk you through a Cisco router configuration where you can protect yourself from ICMP attacks and flooding of the sorts. So I'm going to just jump right into it. Here we go. We've got uh, Wireshark at the ready. And the goal here for Wireshark is to capture the packets so that way we can find out if this actually works or not. And we've got a filter here, host space and the IP address of my router. So obviously, a little disclaimer, please make sure you do this to your own equipment. Don't go flooding servers and routers all over the net. That's just silly. So there's the host filter, the capture filter, I mean. And I'm going to double click on the Ethernet killer gig. Click, click. And now it's capturing packets to and from my router. Second thing, I'm going to use hrping from cfos.de. It's hrping. It's uh, written about this in the past. And it lets you do a whole bunch of cool things. For example, I can do this dash s22, which allows me to ping every 22 milliseconds. Now, Microsoft only pings every one second. You can't change it. So that's what I'm using hrping, is to ping more often. I'm going to put some bytes in the packet, 1,111, just because I can hit one four times relatively quickly. And we've got dash n300, so I'm going to send 300 packets. So the reason why I put uh, 1,111 bytes in the packet is because I want a little pressure in the pipes, right? I don't want to send a little tiny ping like a flea hitting a windshield. So that's my HR ping. So all I'm going to do now is hit enter, and I'm going to watch the screen. And I'm just visualizing how well this works, if there's any patterns. And you'll see every once in a while, uh, you get these little slowdowns and stuff, right? But that's just the network. That's the way it is. And you can see I have 0% loss, which is pretty cool. If I go back to my trace file, you'll see the pattern's pretty obvious. We've got a reply, request, reply, request, reply, request, right? So it's just ping pong back and forth as it should be. So life is good, right? So now we're going to move on to the next step. We're going to go to the router and we're going to make our change. So what I've done is, as I always say, like a cooking show, I've got my ingredients ready to go here. And I want to just copy it from my notepad, paste it to my screen. There you go. And you can see what I've done is I've gone to my interface. Gigabit 01 is facing me. And I'm using this Cisco command, rate limit, and input access group 111. Again, I'm hitting the ones again because guess what? It's easier to do that. So that i got to create this actual access list. I haven't done that yet. 22,000. These are going to basically dictate the range and the limit at which I start watching things and the action is going to be to drop these packets and that's it. So the next thing we're going to do is configure our access list. There you go. So it's basically permit ICMP any any echo right that's what I'm looking for and then the echo reply. So I want to stop them both. So the combination of those two is going to reduce the number of pings that my router will even listen to. All right, you can still ping it, but you just can't ping it as often. And the other cool thing about that HR ping is it actually tells me the bandwidth in kilobytes. So it's 50, just call it 50 kilobytes. So 50 kilobytes times 8 bits in a byte, so that'd be 400 kilobits. And I set this thing for 22,000 kilobits. So that's kind of cool. It gives you an idea of load. Well, let's give it a go. So I'm going to just pull up my last command again. Oh, wait, I'm going to go to Wireshark, start a new trace. Off we go to the races. And you can see it kind of paused right there. Now it's timing out. And the odd one is getting through. You see that? So they're not all getting through anymore. So this is actually working. And you can see 89.6% loss in my trace. So this actually did a pretty good job. It's it's limiting the number of pings that we can actually ping our router with. So right now if I just go back to Microsoft and I try to ping my router, you'll see it works just fine. It's one per second. But if I try to flood it, you'll see it kicks in, starts doing its thing. Now the last thing, if you want to make sure this is working, is if we go to our router itself, let's get it a config mode, you can actually type show access list enter whoops show and you can see it says standard IP access list I'm looking for the 111 there it is 111 so I'm looking for this one you can see 608 matches see that so it's actually doing its job well there you go so now you can protect yourself against people who use ping to flood and do nasty things to your routers have a good day bye for now